Cope from Psychology. The title of his thesis is How Do Low Income Men Present Their Positive Health Practices? The title of his three minute thesis is The Power of Photo Elicitation. Who in the audience today is a man who doesn't go to the doctors when he should? Or knows a man who doesn't go to the doctors when he should? Okay, lots of hands. Well, I am that man as well. I don't go to the doctors when I should either. The psychological term for this is hegemonic masculinity. Or in other words, men don't show pain, talk about feelings, or their mental health. And it could be one of the reasons why men in the UK have a life expectancy nearly four years less than that of a woman. However, Low-income men have a life expectancy seven years less than that of high-income men. Now, the government spent a huge amount of time and resources trying to narrow these health inequalities, but policy, interventions, and even the new head of the NHS focus on men's negative health behaviours and trying to tell men what's best for them. And this seems to have little effect. Now, that should come as no surprise as how many men do you know like being told what to do? So. How do we encourage low-income men into behaviour change? Would they listen to other low-income men talking about their positive health practices? Well, the problem here is traditionally low-income men are hard to recruit and are reticent in interviews. So, the creative methodology of photo elicitation was used. Or in other words, I gave low-income men a digital camera and asked them to photograph their lives from the point of view of health and well-being and then talked to me about it in a recorded interview. The research was participant-led with no guidance given for health and well-being, and the men were allowed to talk for as little or as they, much as they liked about each photograph. And this enabled them to reflect from a distance on the everyday things in their lives. Now this photograph was taken by one of my participants, who I've called Brian. And Brian used this photograph to represent the positive relationship he has with his girlfriend and how good it makes him feel. And this to a perfect stranger in a research interview. So far, I've interviewed seven men. They've taken over 100 photographs between them, and the average interview length has been 78 minutes. The topics the men have talked about have included feelings, mental health, and personal limitations. And this from a group the research says doesn't like to talk in interviews. And this shows the power of the method employed. The data generated in this area can be used to drive policy, to show low-income men the positive things other low-income men are doing, and encourage them to live longer and healthier lives. Thank you.